Hello again everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2013, the story of the Blues. And uh, before we you know, probably start this, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the response to the last video and of course the first video as well. I opened my video manager just earlier today just to see you know, how the videos were doing. And then I noticed the, the second video, well I said the second video, the, the, the last video, got um, four likes. Four likes. Now that doesn't seem much to you know a lot of YouTubers, you know the like I don't know, all those with the with, with the millions of subscribers. But for someone like me who doesn't have a massive subscriber base or a massive view base, it really does mean a hell of a lot to get so many likes on a video. Well, I say so many, you know, yeah. But yeah, guys, again, thank you guys so much for for you know just just commenting, liking, you know. It just really lets me know that you get that you guys are enjoying this. I'd I'd say if you are looking forward to a match in this episode, you might be disappointed once again. But I will probably try and do one more episode today if I can, um, if I can fit it in. But you know, oddly enough, like it's half term, so even though I have more time, I have less time. If you know what I mean, it's a bit weird. But yeah, I mean. Anyway, we 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 did actually uh, receive our initial budget in the last episode, just right there. You'll see that we have nothing. We have nothing in, in the transfer budget. It, it is it is actually that bad. It is pretty bad, to be honest with you. Um, Joe Lewis, he's a goalkeeper. Didn't Joe Lewis play for Peterborough? I think he did. Why, why did he go to Cardiff? He was he was never gonna get games at Cardiff. He should have stayed at Peterborough. But um, yeah. When it comes to that budget, you pretty much know that we are going to have to rely on uh, loanies. But the problem with that one is, when you're loaning teams from one di one division higher. Like I say, because you know we are in the championship now, so we can only go to the Premier League. You know, when it comes to higher leagues, um, the teams usually want their wages paid to a decent amount. Now we do have a bit of um, uh, money in the wage in the wage budget, but it's not exactly a massive amount. And Alex Salmon has gone on loan to Annan until the end of the season, so good luck to him. I hope he does well. He probably doesn't have much of a future here right now, but... I mean, if FM did actually display his real-life potential, he probably would be a lot better, but... Uh, Messi's been named as the best player in Europe, no surprise there. In my opinion, he is the best player in the world. And I know there's a massive debate between him and Ronaldo, but just, let's just face it, Messi is far better statistically than Ronaldo is. He he gets more assists. As I, you know, I, I I think I've actually probably gone through this already. I, I might have said this in the last video, but yeah, he, 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 just, he just gets more assists, you know, he gets more goals. He's far more of a team player, has a better attitude. I, I, mean, I, I mean, fair enough, Ronaldo, again, he's a superb player. But... Or, you know, the, the, the stats just don't lie when it comes to those two. M Messi has more goals and assists. I mean, yes, um, people say that Messi's only got more goals because he's a striker and Ronaldo's a winger, but Messi's got more assists. Sh surely Ronaldo should have more assists because he's a winger, but no, Messi's got more assists than Ronaldo. He definitely did in 2012, anyway. I'm not sure about this season so far. So I, I might be a bit sketchy when saying that, but yeah. Anyway, Jordan Parker has joined on loan to Annan as well. Clearly Annan are just feeding off us. <laughs> Henrique and Joe score. Is that the Joe who played for Man City? If so, wow. Wow, look at that. Minero a two nil two one up in the eighty third minute and then Marcelo Nicasio scored in consecutive minutes to make it three two. Wow. W what a comeback.
England beat Ukraine 2-0, that's always good. English Premier Division remains the first position, of course, the Maltese Premier League moved up <laughs> 30 positions. Trond Olsen. Am I just being offered Nottingham Forest players here? Are, are, are we going to feed off Nottingham Forest? Mikael Lustig. Looks like an absolute rapist. But yeah, I, I don't think well, we would have enough to uh, get him. Or, or, or the legend that is Paddy McCourse. Don't sell McCourt. Paddy McCourt. Lee Naylor. You know, it, it's a it's a very good player, but I mean, okay, that Salin Spear is 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 as good, if not better, than him, and he's far younger, so there's no real need to do that, and I don't think I would do it anyway because he's just too old, unfortunately. And um, the start of the transfer window is in a couple of days. I'm not sure where, when I will end this uh, episode, but we'll see. Oh, by the way, yeah, guys, what it, what I thought, what I. Uh, Fuck. What are your thoughts on the um, results in the Champions League uh, last night? Because we had um, we had Manchester United and Real Madrid, and we also had Borussia Dortmund and Shakhtar Donetsk. I mean, Man United drew one-one with Real Madrid away. And uh, Shakhtar drew 2-2 with Dortmund away, I believe. I, I think Shakhtar were away. Correct me if I'm wrong there. That might be wrong. But, yeah, I, I mean, I say that, that, that's a very good result for Man United, you know, against Real Madrid. Honestly, I, d I do want Man United to win that tie just because, you know, they're English. And, you know, you can scold me, you know, how however much you like, but I, I do quite like Man United. I, I, I myself have never seen a reason to hate Man United. Honestly, I personally haven't, you know, got a reason to hate them. And, um... And I just really do dislike Man City now as well. Just just, just because of the unbelievable amounts of money spent. I mean, yes, fair, fair enough. Man United aren't exactly the poorest team, but 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 City have just overdone it. You know, I I could swear, it, it said in the news that that Man City since 2008 have spent 1.2 billion pounds. That is one one billion two hundred million pounds. I don't know if that's just on players or everything, but. That's a lot of money. You know, it's a, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's an unbelievable amount to spend on a football club, seriously. Players age 24 and above are unlikely. Yep. Jack Smith, 29 year old. That'll be us signing Darren Allen and Rupert Hollier. Let me just... um. Check their potentials. Darren Allen's got decent potential, and Rupert Hollier has also got decent potential. Again, th there's absolutely no guarantee that they will be very good, but you know it's always nice to have the youth players there just in case anybody gets too old. Ganso beats Inform Oscar. Uh. I I would actually like really like to see Ganso in in Europe as well as Neymar. Because I have heard Ganso, you know, is ve is very good. <laughs> Apparently, but because you know he's Brazilian, you know, he plays in the same sort of position as you know Ronaldinho and the such. But he isn't that much of a skiller. He's more of um, uh, you know, a dribbler. You know, he, he likes to run run through teams. Unfortunately, David Mailer and Adol Nabi. Uh, loan deals will uh, run out soon, which is a great shame because you know David Mailer was absolutely superb throughout the entire season, and Adam Naby, although he didn't make a fantastic start, when he got going, he was unbelievable too. 
But I'm sure we can uh, somehow find some better players to get. I hope. That's the thing as well, you know. West Brom are our are, are our parent team, so if we're lucky, they 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 might send us someone else who's decent enough for championship. We'll see. I can't but notice that 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 uh, fuck off Apple software update. I don't, I don't want to fucking update Apple. It's Apple for fuck's sake. God. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> um. But yeah. What what was I saying? <laughs> fucking Apple's put me off. But yeah, uh, hopefully West Brom will send us uh, someone. Good enough challenge. Oh, that, that, ah, that, that, that's what I was saying. I can't help but notice that I've been asking my scouts to compile reports on these players that I'm being offered, but absolutely none of them are coming so far. They're, they're, they're doing nothing. But England beat Colombia 2 0, which is fantastic. L Liechtenstein and Cyprus drew 1 1. Oscar Trejo scored for Sporting. I do love Oscar Trejo. He was superb for me in my Sporting Hihon save. He has uh, been sold now though, because I am in 2021 on that save, 2020, 21 on something like that, on that save, and yeah, he's, he, got, he did get pretty old, and you know, I did have better strikers, so, you know, even though he was there for a good 10 years or something, I'd say, you know, he just has to leave eventually. Can I get 20% of me transfer fee? Sheffield Wednesday to Huddersfield, what the fuck? Well, holy shit, 600 grand! Whoa! 600 grand! Fuck! That's a lot of money! Has anyone been putting the transfer budget? We're now over 61k transfer budget! We are rolling in it, lads! We are rolling in it! Let's do this! <laughs> Arsenal have signed Antoine Griezmann. Very good player right here. Oh, Mansfield have loaned Yanis Dreis as well, if you didn't notice that. Ben Davis. What a player. Stockport have loaned David Goldsmith. He's an ex-West Brom player as well. We have no backroom advice. I think I will actually start, you know, properly trying to get players when the players actually return from their holidays. Uh, because, you know, I'll have a good overview of how everyone's doing. And by the way, again, that's, that's another thing. You have to remember. Check how long we're recording, 30 minutes, okay. But, yeah, that's another thing you have to remember. Uh, we, we are, um. We are in a new patch right now. It was released a couple of days ago. I haven't played any matches on this save on that patch, but I think I, w I was playing uh, a couple of matches on a network game with Barcelona. Yes, I know Barcelona. Trust me, I don't always go to the big teams, but the other guy went Man City, so I thought, you know what, fuck, I'm going to go Barcelona. Um, but yeah. The, the, the matches with Barcelona they, they did go very well. I think we beat we, we beat Sociedad 3-1, we beat Madrid 2-0, and we beat Let's Go Madrid 3-0. So that was all well and good, but of course that 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 that's Barcelona. You have to say that nearly all tactics on the game would work in Barcelona, just because of how good their squad is. But still, you know. You can't complain, can you? With with those results, really. <laughs> but I will. We'll see. We'll see how this season goes. You know, I can't make any assurances that we will have a good season. But you know, hope for the best, lads. Hope for the best. We're playing Saint Johnston in a friendly in just over a month. Hmm. Maxfield want Robert Lewis. Lewis Nurse. 2.9 million loss. 57% of their turnover. Jesus Christ on a bike. That's right, Jesus Christ on a bike. That is a lot of money lost. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Hopefully. 
Adrian would consider Chelsea move. Is, is, is that the Let's Go Madrid striker? I've heard he's quite a decent player. And Robert Nurse has joined Macclesfield on loan. The ex Stoke player signed for high flying Carlisle on a free transfer in 2012. Wow. What's what what's the team looking like as in the team report? I just want to see. Mac Gillespie solid. Uh, the centre backs are looking decent. Uh, I tell you what, Michael Nelson's a hell of a player. He's best player in the uh, centre back and right back. Tim Wookie as well is quite good. Uh, yeah, the centre backs should be fine. Uh, right backs are fine. Left backs are fine. At least you have one of three and a half stars. Really, good hell. Uh, defensive mids. Mm, actually, the defensive mids aren't really fine, are they? Because um, David Mailer will be leaving. So yeah, I think we think we might need to get a defensive mid in. Maybe another centre mid. I'm not sure. But w yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Other than that, everything looks okay, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, it's always hard to tell how things are going to go when you look at the team report when you've just been promoted because obviously while th while those players were very good in League 1 there's no guarantee they will be as good in League 2 I mean will Paddy Madden score 15 odd goals in in the championship you know did I just say that I I'm not sure if they'll be good in League 2 I, I did mean the championship there if I did say League 2 that, that was a bit of a dirt moment wasn't it <laughs> 32 days until St. Johnson's versus Carlisle. Oh god. Okungai form deserves Nigeria call off. Man United signed Neymar. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> I bet I bet I get a Steam message from that guy who's just come online in 3, 2, one shit. <laughs> the championship fixes are due to be announced on the twenty fifth of June. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think in this episode we will play until the budgets are announced. You know, like as in I actually get to pick the season expectations. Then, w then we can go through the pre-season, and then we can bang on with the season. So I will say, I, w uh, I imagine, uh, because because this is the third video of of you know the, the new season as such, I would say the f the fifth video will probably be the one where we do get into the matches, because because this one will be finishing off the poor season. And the one after the, and whilst that we're finishing off the um well it'll be going through the pre season. That might take a couple of videos, I'm not quite sure, it depends on how long we take to do anything do everything. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Oh see there you go, see, see, see I told you. I told you. I told you it was gonna come. The cunt sent me a message. And Sporting Hihon have won another game. Stoke have signed John O'Shea. Croatia have joined the European Union. Well, there you go. Mamma is fucking Sadibi. When the hell are those scout reports on like David McGoldrick and all those coming in? Because I've I've been waiting for a long time. You know, seriously, I don't mean a long time as well. Huddersfield of Sky and Scott Laird. Preston Nobed. Preston Nobben. <laughs> Preston is just like Graham Wesley in real life as well, which is quite funny. You know, he was he was always gonna get sacked with the way he was going. Ooh damn! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he, he, he does look a good player though. Hang on a minute. L let let me just type in David McGoldrick just to see McGoldrick, just to see if the scout reports are still pending. David McGoldrick. Scout
the, the, the scouting is in progress. I scouted it fucking a week ago, I swear. It's it's absolutely disgraceful. You 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 just cannot take that long to scout someone. Other mm. uh, other other bloody scouts sitting in Jamaica sipping on the pina coladas when I've ordered them to go and scout David McGoldrick. Or as he was sometimes known with Nottingham Forest, David McGoldrot. Although he does score a hell of a goals, have a lot of goals for the teams that um he it, sort well, he scored a hell of a lot of goals for uh, Coventry. Millwall Shane Lowry, he's transfer listed. He's not having a good career, is he? You know, he's gone from Aston Villa to Millwall. To, to Millwall. M Millwall, really. Millwall. Aston Villa to fucking Millwall. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? And not, not only has he gone from Aston Villa to Millwall, He's going from Millwall to someone else because the cunts have transfer listed him. That shit's bad. Frédéric Piquillon. Gary Johnson has resigned. What? Oh, I suppose they did get relegated. Phil Ball's contract is due to expire next week. That 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 is indeed a massive shame, but unfortunately we can't really do much about that. Dominic Ball could sign for Carlisle. We'll, 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 we'll get the scout reports. We'll get the scout reports. We, I think we just, I think we probably just have just scouted him as well. I think we might have just got the scout report. But it, it's my OCD with scouting. You know, anyone in the transfer rumours, I do insist on scouting because sometimes some good players do pop up there. You know, like I think, um, I think when I was like Barcelona on FM Eleven once. Uh, Eric Torres appeared on there after a few years, and Eric Torres was rated three and a half stars for Barcelona, and and he's a real player. Now, trust me, Eric Torres in that game was unbelievable. You know, he's, he's an attacking midfielder slash striker. It was a fantastic, fantastic, unbelievable. But enough about that. Ugh, why I'm so tired. Ugh. Unbelievable. It's actually um it's actually sunny outside right now. I mean seriously, it actually being sunny outside is completely unheard of. You know, these days. I mean it was snowing then pissing down yesterday. I mean what the actual fuck Sorry, I just actually moved the uh, window there. English season review. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see the. Um, we'll have a look at the, the season summary for League One. League One winners: Swindon promoted Swindon, Carmel, Coventry, relegated MK Dons York, but over Portsmouth, all them. MK Dons got relegated. Fucking hell. Top goal scorer Nick Blackman with 29. Most assist Ryan Flynn with 29, both Sheffield United there. Highest average rate and Reese Brown for Coventry 7.49. Overachievers Walsall, one of the same as MK Dons. Signing of the season, Scott Dobbs Jr. A goal goal runner for Shrewsbury's Wes Fletcher. Both did very well, I do believe. Worst end season, Preston's George Francom and Hartlepool's Quam Ajaman Pambo. So there. I'm kind of disappointed that one, that one of our lot did, didn't get signing of the season, but. What can you do? What can you do? Man United um, retain top spot in England. How are we doing? Let's go all the way down. Oh, look at that! Look, look, look at all these. Look at all these illustrious clubs that we're higher than. We we have nearly overtaken Preston. Nearly, nearly. And we're just below Portsmouth as well. The only reason they're so high is because you know that. Because of the history. I mean, right now in real life, they're absolutely fucked. FC Porto tar target unsettled Long. FC Porto trying to sign Shane Long. Because if they are, why? 
Seriously, why? Why would you even do such a thing? I just do not understand. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. <laughs> Liam Noble got fans player of the year. Very well done, Liam. Uh car best eleven. Surprising no one got no one got inducted into the overall best eleven. Michael Nelson was the pick of the players. Seven point two two. Let's have a look at the best eleven. So it's, uh, Let's read them out. Mark Gillespie in goal, P Michael Nelson and Peter Murphy at the back, Salah Hidden Spear, Liam Noble, Tim Woodkey as the defensive three in mid midfields, although Salah and Spear and Woodkey are wingbacks, you know, you kind of get what I mean there. Brad Potts and James Barrett in the middle of the field, Matthew Robson, John Paul McGovern are out, out wide, and uh, Paddy Man up front. And the bench was Adam Collin, Mike Edwards, Paul Thurwell, Chris Chandler. Lee Miller, Frank Simic, and Rory Loy. Very good indeed. Paddy Man, 21 goals in 41 appearances. Fantastic. The highest average rating was was actually was actually Michael Nelson with 7.22. Adam Collin got into the team of the uh, team of the season, even though um, he got a 6.57 average rating, which is a bit shit. Oh Christ! That is a lot of contracts. Um, that is a lot of contract boosts. Uh, how are we doing the wage budget after that? We're fine. Overreaction. It was an overreaction. Car promotion bonus activated. Okay, fair enough. Shows your fixture list now. We will start off against Sunderland. Fuck off. Southampton. And, and on Boxing Day we're playing Sunderland. And the end of the season we're playing Middlesbrough. Fuck off. The fuck, 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 fuck life. No, no, seriously though. What the hell? Sunderland then Southampton. Avoid relegation has to be the one, doesn't it? John Parker appealed, then it's a nice kind of open, but the reserves okay. West Brom have done having this. West Brom got relegated. Jesus Christ. That's absolutely fantastic to be honest. Scouting within Europe now. And I've been offered Christ. I have been offered Christ. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll scout him because you know, you know, being offered Christ, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, it's, 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 it's a very, it's a very good thing to happen, isn't it, really? But yeah, that is the season expectations inside, guys. We will try and avoid relegation. Two ridiculous fixtures on the, in the, um, in the start of the season. We'll see how things go. I hope you have enjoyed watching this, guys. If you have, then like, comment, um, subscribe, favourite, share with your friends. Sorry, just uh, zoned out for a minute there. <laughs> and, yeah, stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks again for watching, guys. By the way, if you have any suggestions for games that I can play on this channel when the gaming series starts, or um, always I can improve the videos and just let me know. Yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.